Welcome back everyone. You may be in a position where your iPad for some reason is just not going past that black screen. So it's probably just on a dark screen where it's not turning on at all. Now there's a couple of different ways to fix this. Now I've ran into this issue a billion different times on a ton of different iPads that I owned and there's typically one of two things that you can do and I'll break them down both in this video. So the very first thing Typically, if your iPad is either rebooting constantly or if it's stuck on this black screen and not turning on, what I do all the time is I go ahead and turn on my iPad just as I normally would. So I go ahead and hold up this power button here. Some iPads that may be on the side, but I typically just hold down this top power button over and over and over again until it'll essentially go ahead until it'll go ahead and boot away. As you can see, I did have Siri enabled, but if your iPad is constantly going through and power cycling by just holding down that button, it can actually go ahead and pretty much fix itself. It sounds crazy, but it's helped me out a lot and it may actually help you out a lot too. Now, typically that's like one out of every three times that I tried, it ends up working. The next thing that I typically do though is one that ends up working even more. So what I do is I go ahead and grab my iPad with the side button here, go and hold the power button up here and the volume down button if your iPad doesn't have a home button. Now, if your iPad has a home button, you want to hold down the home button and the you know power button at the same time. But since this is the iPad Pro 3rd Gen, I do not have a home button here. So in this case, I would go ahead and hold the power button up here and the volume down button here and hold them down at the same time. Just click them down until your iPad goes ahead and force restarts. Now, it may take a couple tries for it to actually go ahead and actually turn off and all that stuff. But by holding it down for a couple of seconds, probably 10 to 15 seconds, this may end up actually just, you know, fixing the iPad in and of itself. So sometimes that ends up, you know, fixing it for me. As you can see, it's probably not going to do anything because I'm not going through that power cycle. But as I mentioned before, that's something that's actually helped me out a ton. So those are pretty much primarily the two things that you can do that will probably help it most of the time. Probably I would say like nine times out of 10, that is the way to fix it. Now the second batch that I typically go ahead and go through if my iPad is really stuck in a, you know, a reboot or that's stuck on a black screen or whatever, and this is kind of taking it to the next level. And it's not necessarily the easiest thing to do, but it is something that can go ahead and fix it. Now, first of all, I will ask you, are, can you verify that your iPad is charged? I would recommend plugging in your iPad and letting it sit there for maybe like an hour or two and let it just charge up and then go back into it and then try powering it on. You don't really want to go through this next process by resetting it unless your iPad is actually, you know, you can verify that it's probably broken or it's bricked somehow or whatever. Sometimes if you install a certain version of software on it, it can break in and of itself and be stuck in a power reboot. So that's pretty much the first thing you want to do is verify that your iPad is actually messed up. Because if it's not, and if it's just not charged, you want to go ahead and charge it and then proceed. So once that's done, you can verify it's charged and it's still not working. Well, in this case, what you want to do is pretty much reset your iPad. So this is typically the last thing you want to do if the first method didn't work. And again, first method is powering up and everything. So I'm going to go ahead and post on the screen on the specific button combinations you want to click on to actually go ahead and get your iPad into, you know, the DFU mode or whatever they call it now, restore mode. And what we're going to be doing, you need a computer to do this. You want to go ahead, put your iPad into restore mode by using the buttons combination on the display that I'm putting up for your specific iPad. And then you want to go ahead and connect it. That either has iTunes or the Files app installed. And you want to go ahead and reinstall that software through iTunes. So you're going to get a little prompt on your computer. It's going to ask you, do you want to go ahead and restore this iPad? You want to click yes. And hopefully you have a restore or backup available. If not, then you're probably going to have to go ahead and reset as normal. Your computer is going to go ahead and download all the latest softwares. And from there, you just kind of have to wait. You can go ahead and, you know, go away from your iPad and come back when it's fully installed. And you should see that your iPad is fully capable now. It'll go ahead and have that software installed. As I mentioned, unfortunately, a lot of your stuff may be deleted, but this is the final way to go ahead and fix your iPad if you're running into some issues. So that's typically how I fix it. If you guys have any other questions or anything like that, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. Every single subscriber that we get really does count, so it means so much if you guys can hit that. Also, check out the other links down in the description as well. My Twitter, my Instagram, my other channels. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.